Kitty is the one and only Ronan the Traveler. Man, shout out to the Blue Book Passport card. Tim, shout out to the channel memberships. Man, we getting into the dating in the Dominican Republic. Why you should stay in your lane. Let me tell you, man. I got hit up last night out of the blue. Brother woke me up. I didn't know who he was. I'm half asleep. All I heard is his brother on there about to cry. Dude with the dude turned to Jackson 5. And I wonder loving you. Look, let me tell you what happened with this guy's story, man. A little bit of this like that. Story time. So this brother falls in love with a woman, moves to Porta Plata, stay there a whole year with the woman. They, everything's going good. And this brother runs out of money. So he ran out of money. And look, let me give you another little backstory. The brother was like, you know, 50, 45, whatever. And the chick, 23 years old. When his money ran, he went to the United States and to try to get, get some more money. Now he can't find where she at. And he, <laughs> he turned to Jackson 5. I treated you bad. I'm like, man, look, brother, 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 brother. Look, I, I, was, I was hitting him back with songs. That's the way it goes on love strange. <laughs> look, like, look, man, I, no matter what I tell y'all cats, man, I said, don't fall in love with these chicks, man. It got to be tested. Like, and he, he bought me into the first thing about staying in your lane, man. Age gap challenges, man. First up, man, the age gap. I see a lot of men 40 and over uh, here dating girls in their 20s. Sure, it might be exciting at, the, at, at first, but let's be real, man. It often leads to communication breakdown and mismatched goals, man. Younger women are usually in a different stage of their life, man. Look, I went through this. Um, I met a chick. She was like 20-something. Chick was fine, man. I was dealing with her but for just a couple of weeks. I was liking her. I, I met her on, like, Tinder. Fine chick. And I was trying to tell her when I when I met her. I said, man, I think you're a little, you're a little too young for me. She's like, no, no, I'm not. She was, she was persistent. And the chick was fine, man. But here's how um, I had to stop that situation. I noticed real quick. Them young ones are not trying to take care of you. But not, not saying you can't find them. They want you to take care of them. The young ones have a different mindset. So um, the little young chick was in the, she, she in the bed with me. Next morning, she wake up, she said, Papi, order, order some food. You don't have any food in here. Order food. You know, she was like that. So when I, I, I started dating other women, they would say, hey, you don't have food. We need to go to the store and get food so I can cook for you. This chick, that, that, that first chick, the little young one, she didn't have no drive to cook me anything. She just felt like, hey, man, you rich, you buy food. So you can get into these things, man. And that's, that brings me to my point, too. That, that financial imbalance, man, this is another issue that I see a lot. It's called a financial gap. A lot of men come here with more money than the women they're dating. Now, this can create a power imbalance where you feel like you're being used and that usually start happening because, you know, brothers always talking about, you know, I got my song. Papi, you say you love me, but you never ever give me no money. You know, that's how, the, that's how that happened. Like, look, how it happens is you're going to come on your trip and most of the time these women will show you a good girlfriend experience you're going to be so happy and, and I mean, it's just going to be a good thing and i'm not just talking about trickeration nation i'm talking about chicks that you can meet date you think is real and you go back and i stay sad but then she gonna hit you keep telling you 50 you know 100 200 my scooter broke my daddy need this this here happened before you know it, you're sending all this woman all your money and this creates that financial imbalance. Well, we tell cats all the time, and we do live stream. Hey, man, cut her off till you gonna come back. And it's hard for men because they're not used to dealing with, like, put it like this. You, you're gonna be dealing with chicks like you'll find in Miami. Like, I was in a nightclub with one of the brothers. Me and him was in a nightclub in uh, Santo Domingo. And chopping it up, having a good time. Club full of just baddies. I'm talking about fine bad. He was going crazy. By now, 
by now I done got used to it. Man, he's, his, his eyes is popping out his head like Woody Woodpecker or something, you know. He's looking at how fine these chicks is. And so one chick stepped to him. She did. She come out at him. He started talking with a man. He was gone. Oh, that, she laced him that quick. And I'm like, dude, let me tell you, bro. Don't get this woman all oh, your money. He was too late. Before you know it, he was going out the door. I didn't see him no more his trip. I didn't see him no more the rest of the trip. But he started talking to me on the phone. Yeah, man, you know, man, I'm, I bought her a refrigerator. I'm like, oh, man, you do whatever you want with your money. I ain't going to tell you what to do with your money. I said, hey, bro, don't let the woman juice you up because they're going to keep getting you. Now look at it now. Brother them get his woman over $15,000, man. <laughs> Trying to help her start a clothing store and just like, man, like, dude, man. So I try to tell these cats, man, that's that number two, man, that financial imbalance, man. The number three, the lifestyle difference, man. Look, when you are dating someone who lives a completely different lifestyle, whether whether it's where they live or they, they social circle, it can be hard to relate to each other, man. Like, it, it's, it's hard for a lot of these chicks. They think we got money that grows on trees a lot of us are well off but man you don't want that that whole relationship to just be about money like you gotta look got to get some kind of love you know I, I know we always say the only thing that get unconditional love is a dog and kids but dang at least at least work for it like i say work for, you gotta work for that air condition maria you gonna work for that condition with me i'm gonna I'm make you sweat like cnc music factory <laughs> you gonna, gonna make you sweat so at least that's how i feel but better about it so, man, you, you, you're coming from a foreign country with a whole different experience. And sometimes, man, those differences, they don't mix well, man. Having a, a similar lifestyle can build a better relationship. That's why I started kind of dating women who were educated. I only deal with educated women. So me, so I deal with women now 10 to 12 years younger than me. But I, I, I know that you date them once two too young, you can have a problem. And this thing, stand in your lane. Look, the values and maturity, man. Dating outside your league can also mean dating someone with a completely different value and maturity level. In my experience, man, it's always best to connect with somebody who's on the same wavelength. Like I'm telling you, somebody, you gotta ask someone, you want a family? What's your career you trying to go for? What's your personal growth? Look, and sometimes we come from the United States, man, with these unrealistic aspirations. Like we, we, we got expectations and aspirations for people that they don't have for themselves. Like one of my boys was telling me, um, he paid for a chick to go to school to try to get her to learn English, do this stuff. Man, he paid a lot of money, bought books, did all this stuff. This girl ain't went to class but two times. So, so he had. He had aspirations for her that she didn't have for herself, man. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing, man, another point. You got to get somebody who is emotionally stable. You know, that's the thing, man. Um, and avoid these, these chicks trying to um, manipulate you, man. Because coochie is a hell of a drug. And to a weak man, you could be bought down. So what, I, what this whole video is about, man, it is staying in your lane. Like... Find somebody who you're really compatible with, man. Don't look, you, you want long-term compatibility at the end of the day. Now, right now, again, I'm gonna tell you brothers, when you come in to visit, many brothers come in to sewer right now, they're doing everything, or whether you're in Santo Domingo, wherever you at on the island, right? Find a woman to have fun with first. Get to know her slow. My, my, method, my method is, you know, I'm, I, I follow the Will Wolf Code, so my, my method has always been find me a regular, good wifey chick, like a king, right? The king always had his queen, but you also have your concubines, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my theory. So I think you have fewer headaches when you do it like that. That's just my thing. I think that women should always feel a, just a little pressure to know that, hey, man, this guy I got, he can have or the people. And that makes the relationship good, but this is not the book of Ronan. <laughs> not not Ronan's Ronan. <laughs> so if you want to follow that, but I'm telling you, man, don't come here and fall in love. Just take your time. Have fun. It's just your turn. Again, 
you dare to look. Let me tell you, man, the reason why you don't fall in love because there's literally thousands of women here. Like I told people, we call them mangoes because they grow from trees. You can have all the women you want. Or you could just be a part of Trickeration Nation if that's what you want. I know a lot of guys not really on that, but sometimes Trickeration Nation could, could be actually better because like one of the old men told me before, whenever he want to deal with somebody, he deal with them and then he go on about his life. He really got to worry about taking care of every day. And I know a lot of guys like that, but I also know dudes that was used to being married, they used to having um, a more stable relationship. They want that, but just go take your time, man. And you can find you some riders, man. I don't want you calling me <laughs> Satana like Drew Hill. Somebody sleeping in my bed. Look, man, if you're in the United States stuck and you're not going to be coming to the island, somebody will be sleeping in your bed. And it probably be me or somebody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, look, man, definitely take your time, man. We are out, man. Shout out again. Shout out to the Blue Book Passport Cartel channel members, man. Just wanted to say this, man. Um, in, in Santo Domingo this weekend, any brothers that hit me up, uh, then I'm going to Sasua. I see you. Let's drink a beer. We out. You want my spot flash? Huh? Well, you ain't gonna get it because you ain't got it.